All right, so today we're going to start some Luigi's Mansion 3, which has already given me a bit of a runaround. So I got this game for Christmas last year, and I put off playing it so I could play it around now, around Halloween time, a couple weeks before. And that is what we're doing here today. But I, I already played this. I've already recorded this for about an hour. And I went to take a small break and to have some food. And then I would have come back and continued just so I could give myself a little bit of a break. And it turns out that the file that I had been playing for for an hour was, well, not, not this file, like in game, but the, this, the video file that I had recorded was corrupt. So, this hour and two minutes of me playing and such is null and void. So, I shall go ahead and get rid of that now. <laughs> bah, wasted time. Okay, yeah, so let's start over. This is Luigi's Mansion 3. I'm gonna start that today. I've already been through an amount of the game. And now we're in, and now I gotta redo it all. So, it'll go a little faster this time. I've never played this game before. And hopefully the save file that I'm recording to is does not become corrupt. For God's sakes, I don't need that headache again. And now I get to redo all the things that I said the first time. Now, I have seen a few people play this last year when the game first came out, so I'm not totally blind to the game. I know a little bit about it. I don't remember who the final boss is, if it's King Boo or whatever. I'm not entirely sure on that. I do have to say, though, that this is one of the better, if not one of the best looking Switch games. This could easily pass off in terms of graphical fidelity as a PS4 or Xbox One game. In terms of graphics, I'm trying to think, what are the most advanced graphics? Because while Xenoblade looks good, I don't really count it because Xenoblade 1 Definitive Edition is a remaster. Toad, you're gonna kill somebody with your drive and stop that. Who gave him a license anyway? Toads are the most inept things in the Mario universe. Why are you giving him permission to drive? Look at him. They can barely do their work. God damn it. <laughs> They're so excitable. But yeah, Xenoblade and Xenoblade 2, they're fine. They look like what I'd expect a Switch game to look like. But you have games like this, you have Mario Odyssey. I'd still put Breath of the Wild up there in terms of graphics, even though it's technically a Wii U game. Uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield would be probably towards the bottom of that list <laughs> of... Uh, Impressive visuals. They're fine. They look quality for the 3DS. It's a pretty fancy place. God, I feel like I'm living Groundhog Day doing all this again. I'm not even saying the same commentary so far. I'm just like... I just did this. <laughs> so it's just weird getting like alternate universe re alternate universe dialogue of me playing this game. This is weird. I can't even like say I couldn't even like save my original dialogue for the past hour because that's why I have to redo it is that it's all corrupt. Hmm? 
Anyway. Yeah, this this looks nice. This is the most amount of lines they've probably given Charles to give to Doofumbario in like a decade. <laughs> he actually gets to speak words this time. How's it going, Peach? This hotel is so big, Luigi. It's gorgeously decorated, too. We're so lucky to have gotten an invitation to come here. Bye. Bye bye. Toads. Blue Toad, I, I've seen the future, and I need to forewarn you about the impending death you are about to suffer at the hand of these two nimwits. Princess Peach definitely didn't forget to pack anything. I'm not doing a toad voice for them. Ah, Luigi, what's up? He is dead. Ah! Oh no! My head's stuck, I can't get out! I was already curious about this the first time I did this, but it's just like, you can't help him. You cannot help the blue toad. He is now null and void. He is a sacrifice to the baggage gods. <laughs> is something the matter? I hope nothing is making your stay here any less than perfect. Our entire staff is devoted to providing you with the ideal vacation experience. Okay. What is with Luigi's weird little shuffle? What is this power walk he does? Like, he's... he's... If you've ever seen Ace Ventura and how he walks with the weird, like, ostrich side-to-side -side neck bob, that is what I'm getting out of Luigi right now. He's doing that neck bob thing that Ace does. It looks like you haven't checked in yet. Please make sure you make your way over to the front desk. It's right over there. All right. Employee who is not a ghost. Please make yourself comfortable. Perhaps you'd like a sample of our selection of beverages? We have Twinkies. And Gatorade. Did you guys buy all your stuff at a fucking 7-Eleven? Jeez. My apologies for the inconvenience, but the elevator is temporarily out of service. We should have it in tip-top shape soon. Alright. Luigi sees behind the mask. He sees the truth. Yeah, he still goes along with it. I'm surprised he just kind of goes along with all this shit. What do you think of the hotel? We take pride in the luxury and splendor it offers. Sir, your legs don't connect to your shoes. Alright, let's talk to this Michael Rawson looking motherfucker. The bug eyes. Welcome, guests, to the last resort. Are you ready to check in? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> guests, welcome to the last resort. My name is Helen Gravely, and I'm the owner of this hotel. I'm absolutely delighted to have you... that you decided to accept my invitation. Lady, how many people you got in that hair? It's massive. You all must be very tired. Come, allow me to show you your rooms. Oh, no need to worry about your luggage. Our exceptional staff will take care of it for you. 
If that Michael Rawson motherfucker steals anything out of my baggage, I'm gonna be pissed. You're gonna get lawsuits up the ass. <laughs> You're our VIPs, after all. We've prepared a first-rate experience for you, all the trappings of luxury. Shall we get going? Lady, you're about to make Luigi have an allergic reaction from the amount of dust you're putting in the air. You see what I tell you? You know, given how Pulitzerpup is a ghost, you'd think that it would be able to sense that they're ghosts. Or if not, at least maybe care. <laughs> like, if it, well, if it does know, to give some sign of care about it. But I guess it doesn't, because it seems pretty aware for a thing anyway. Like, it's aware of its environment. It's a dog. Mario, Luigi, and Peach's rooms are over there. We prepared rooms for you toads as well. I hope you enjoy your stay. I dare say you'll remember it for the rest of your lives. I love how the toads... The toads have squeaky noises for when they walk. All right, so here's the first piece of destroyed content is that I, I want to take a note of it again. I love how the Luigi's Mansion series has its own identifiable art style in its surroundings. So you can easily differentiate these games from the normal Mario games purely just based on the design aesthetic of some of the environments. So, they have all this furniture and other stuff here. Like, what's the best way that? Well, I that's the thing. I'm, I'm getting all like fluttered about it because I've already talked about it before. It's just like, how do I describe it differently? Maybe it's it doesn't need to be different. It's just like, eh, I don't want to say the same thing again. That's redundant to me. But like, you see, the car. Everything's very geometrically asymmetrical. Like, this side of the carpet right here doesn't fit, it's not, uh, the symmetry of it is not correct with the other side. And the same with this chair, there's some weird lopsidedness having, having with it. And like this cupboard. I don't know, it, it's weird, it's charming, and it works really well. And you can tell that apart from the other Mario games instantly if you see some of uh, the assets in any of these games. Thumbs up. I think that's about it. Got his flashlight, got his journal. Not gonna lie, that would be a pretty cozy hotel to sleep in. Peach is dead. Mario is missing. And Pulitzer Pup is urinating somewhere down in the front lobby. We're gonna get kicked out of this hotel immediately, I can tell. Great. Everything was going smooth. It's the devil. It's the devil!
Well, this place got kind of crusty real fast. Not not the footage. Just, just like, ooh, this place got kind of ugly looking and got all not shiny and sparkly anymore. There's holes in the wall. That vent is super rusty. Imagine if this hand went... I'm not going to even say. If some, imagine if you were using the toilet. Alright, let's go check on the others. Because something's afoot. Wizards! It's wizardry! I blame Kamek, although Kamek's not here. Yo, I want those. I want auto lighting, Nick. Auto, light, auto lighting, uh, candles. Ah, you see, I can't talk now. I had food, and now my mind is ruined. Spider. Mario. He's not in here, dude. He did have a bunch of pizza, though. Since 1983. This fat fuck ate three pizzas. And it appears from this forlorn piece on the ground in the condition of the chair that when he was taken, he was still in the midst of consuming the delicious cheese and pepperoni. Oh, oh, oh my. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Meanwhile, he's got this Lego-ass looking suitcase. Looks like it belongs in Legoland or something. I only say that because it looks super plasticky. Now, these gargoyles... ...remind me of the ones in the Harry Potter PC games. You'd always use a spell on them for them to work. They would generally open something. I think it was Lumos? Because it wasn't Flipendo. Okay, let's check on Peach. The tea's still hot. She's got a skull next to her journal. Maybe something in the drawer? Not gonna lie, when I pushed this into this, I was kind of hoping I could replicate a glitch I had when I originally did this in my first time. This kind of glitched into the shelving unit here, but at first I thought it disappeared because it just va vanished, and then I opened the drawer and it was in there. <laughs> that was funny. But it didn't do it this time, so screw me, I guess. It's got a bunch of... a bunch of jack-in-the-boxes. So she's not in here either. Who is it? Oh, it's you. Man, you look like you're right out of Ghostbusters. Well, well, well. If it isn't my most esteemed VIP, I was just on my way to see you. Is your living room is your room living up to your expectations? Doesn't it scream good taste? Eh. Oh, I can barely contain myself. You have no idea how much I wanted you to accept my invitation. Why is that? I'm sure you're wondering. You see, there is someone I truly adore. He's the inspiration for some of my greatest ideas, like inviting you here. I'm such a huge fan of his. That's why it's so wonderful that I get to introduce him to you. That's right, Luigi. That's right, Luigi! Hello, Mario. I hope you're ready. Hey, you fat fuck! <laughs> Surprise, Luigi! It's me, King Boo! The old coot had locked me up tight in his lab! But guess what? 
I got out. The hotel owner here was just dying to meet me, so she busted me out. Pretty lucky, huh? Anyway, I didn't think you'd actually show up here. I was just ready though, just in case. In fact, my vengeance is nearly complete. What do I mean by vengeance? Glad you asked. I'm trapping you and everyone in your little vacation party in frames. Aw, oh, there, there, Luigi. It'll be all over soon. It's time for a family reunion. Booyah. I don't think I'm doing that voice again because it hurts. Oh, no. Uh. Take that. Oh, and there's one more frame, of course. I saved it especially for you. Stay right there and put on your best terrified face, Luigi. The game is over. Ah, shit. I just started, man. Get that away from me. Okay, time to run. He's pretty pissed. Peach has so much baggage. Nah, I don't want it. Just jump, dude. He's dead. Luigi's Mansion 3 is over. Roll credits. Roll credits, folks. We're done here. No, we're not. He lives. Shit. I only set up the rent on the lighting equipment for one take. Yeah, pr pretty much once I get Edgad to the elevator is when it'll be new to me again, and I won't remember anything. Up until then, it's gonna be me just kind of hurry along and speed up this so we can get back to, uh, normalcy. Okay, there's a gem in there. Bolter Pop, stop with the donuts. Okay, here's the garage. There's rats. And there's the poltergust. <laughs> this guy. I gotta say, hear hearing that jingle again is still reminiscent of Dark Moon, which I liked a lot. It's still kind of crazy to me how that game is seven years old right now. Like, like, the pre-teens, I, I was older than them at the time, but the pre-teens who played that at the time and like my age and such were old now. Like we're all in our 20s and stuff and, uh, I don't, I don't like thinking about when the 3DS first came out in 2011. Because that was nine years ago. <laughs> and all of that still feels faintly new to me. Like, not in like an actual new, just like I remember how futuristic all that stuff was at the time. And how... 
impressive the tech was and all the games coming out and such at the time and being excited for that. It's weird having that as some sort of retrospective thing. Okay, there's an EGAD door. a lot of treats in here. Jeez, how many cookies and donuts and chip bags are there? You know, this is kind of cheating a little bit, having to redo this all, because I know where, like, all the money stuff is now. <laughs> I mean, how egotistical is she? She's got this massive... ...effigy in a fucking staircase. This isn't even in, like, a grand lobby, this is just a staircase. Jeez. She has to be compensating for something with that. Lovely, there's... X's on all of our faces. That, that bodes well. Who gave them tools? Why is the dog rubbing its ass on the floor? I find it interesting the ghost didn't even hesitate, just went like, yep, it's him. Time to roll. Now there's two of them. Two of them. Two of them. Gonna wallop. I've also learned how to use the controls in this game over the other one. Which was something I was still learning in the f my first hour of this was understanding that I could use this and I could hit the enemies together. That was... That was a learning experience. So this is all going... way smoother so far. Gotta keep. And what's in here again? Is it just money? No, it's a gem. He's got the Chaos Emerald! You mean... The Chaos Emeralds. I think you were talking about the Chaos Emeralds. Just so happens I have one right here. Internal screaming. Ah, the horrors of him being a painting. Alright, it's okay, pull to pub. Let's keep going. We gotta get a... Oh, I, I, I can't skip ahead. Curse you, game. I know where to go. Yeah, he's dead. He's in there. But we can make him better. We can revive him. Make him stronger. 
All right, so this room actually took up most of my time when I originally played in here. That is a lot of money. So I kind of know what to do in here, I guess. I did not at all the first time. And that's the thing about this game, is that it is going to be a bit more of a chill playthrough. I think. It's, it, it's going to be on the chiller side. It's not going to be like Uncharted or Ghost of Tsushima, where I'm constantly doing like missions and progressing things and all that kind of stuff. Which Ghost of Tsushima has kind of turned into that at this point, because I did not expect that game to be that long. There we go. That, I didn't know that was there for the longest time. <laughs> I didn't think to look in the mirror. So I just saved about like 15 minutes off of what I just did last time. And I love these posters that they've got. Like when did they take this picture of Luigi? He looks like a stiff. Got them both. That's a first. Get all the money. Get the spider. Get the spooter. Get down here. Aw, oh, you suck. Fine, you get to live. For now. Money. Imagine having to be the dev to make all this clutter so that you could have all this just all this combustible clutter for the game. That would be such an undertaking and such a monotonous job, but at the same time when it's all done, it would look so amazing in, in motion like this. Like, this is insane, the amount of physics going on with some of this small stuff. It's in here. More money. Alright, yeah, Polter Pup, I know. Alright, so now we got the black light. We're gonna be Gordon Ramsay going in the hotel, using a black light on all the covers and sheets on the bed, and finding the mosaics of semen from the previous guests and scream in horror. Gordon Ramsay has done some weird stuff. I still find- I, I, I like the guy for his cooking stuff. But not gonna lie, the most amusing part of his whole career that I've seen is him using a black light on a hotel bed and just in sheer shock, just screaming, Oh God, it's a mosaic of semen. Just like- you can't not love shit like that. Is, this is a top-rated, hard-ass chef who's saying shit like this. It's amazing. Hey, Gad. How's it going? You look nice in high resolution. You broke your back? No? Ah, if it isn't Luigi, you are precisely the last person I expected to find here. Okay. 
How's that working out for you? Hold that thought. Now isn't the time to catch up. What matters is you'll do nicely. Come on, Luigi. Get me out of here now. This hotel is filled to the brim with ghosts. Let's make a run for it. Mario. What was that? All your friends have been captured. And you can't just abandon them here, you say? <laughs> this... this prick. <laughs> You're the same as ever, I see. A bit of a handful. Okay. I'm not thrilled about it, but I, Professor Elvin Gadd, have an idea. First name exposed. First things first, Luigi. We have to get to my car. Will you take me there? Hey, the new Poltergust G00 you're wearing. You took that out of my car, right? You dirty thief. We've got to get back to the underground garage. Let's go. All right, old man. Let's get moving. Got your funky ass run cycle, I see. Look at this guy. He is so top heavy. Hey, Luigi, take a look over there. The elevator will get us up to the garage in an instance. Let's hurry up before the ghosts find us. Okay. This, this fucking run cycle. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him go. Hey, Luigi, look at that. It's money. And lots of it. Even with all the dangers here, I'm surprised. I'm sure we agree that money is still important. <laughs> the ghosts don't seem interested in grabbing it. What's the saying? You can't take it with you? Well, I definitely want it anyway. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled and grab as much as you can. You know, while you're capturing ghosts, you can save your friends. Oh, you know, while you're capturing ghosts and saving your friends, multitasking. You got, you got pretty uh, snide and greedy in you. In the seven years we haven't seen each other, huh? Oh, I missed the elevator. Okay, yeah, at this point, I am new to the game again. Of all the... Someone has removed all the other light elevator ball buttons. I almost said bulbs. What's going on here? Mm. A mystery for later, I suppose. Go ahead and give that B1 button a push. This one right here? Sure. Eh. What are you doing, old man? It didn't seem like any of your friends were trapped on 2F with me. They must have been taken to one of the floors higher on the hotel. Which means, yes, we're gonna need those elevator buttons. Does the light hurt you? <laughs> Egad, you are a detestable old fuck. <laughs> Oh, hey, it's the Michael Rawson dick. Oh, he has big eyes even in death. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, latched on. Time to wallop. Beat the shit out of him. Ooh, the suitcase acts as a shield. Got him. Okay, he's still around. Hmm. 
Got him. <laughs> he took the hat. Nice. What are those? That <laughs> little dance. Yeah, what are... Oh, they're buttons. Oh ho! Those are definitely the elevator buttons. I never would have guessed a ghost would have taken them. But there are only two. Maybe there are other ghosts out there with the rest of the buttons. No matter. Let's get to my car. I've got something very interesting I want to show you. Okay, so what do you got, Egad? I've already got your vacuum. The heck is that? A Beyblade Stadium? Egad, now's not the time to play with toys. I don't understand your baby language. Okay, that's a bit excessive, you mad genius. Yeah, it reminds me of the fir uh, the... Not the first play, the first base in the first game, but the one in Dark Moon. It's it's very resembling of that. Welcome to my lab. This is another one of my brilliant inventions, a portable li laboratory. It's sturdy, safe, and air conditioned. I always knew I'd need it one day. Good thinking I brought it along with me, right? Mm -hmm. You want to know what I'm doing in this hotel? It's a bit of a long story, but in short, I was tricked. I got an inv invitation from someone claiming to own this hotel. They said they had a precious collection of ghosts gathered from all over the world. No self-respecting ghost researcher would pass upon such an appealing offer, honestly. I accepted their invitation, but when I arrived, the invitation was only a ruse. They captured me and took my precious ghost collection. Ugh. That includes all the ghosts you'd be working so you'd worked so hard to collect for me before. Even King Boo. Losing him really got under my skin. He's my favorite. It's a little creepy, dude. I like to collect these things. They make me happy. That's that that is a weird sentiment you have, Egad. It'd be normal if it were like a Furby collection, or Beena Babies, or Disney VHSs or something. I want to collect dead people. What the fuck is wrong with you? What? They released King Boo. Ah, that hotel owner. What has she done? Luigi, you're our only hope against all odds. Without any hesitation and at any cost, get my ghost collection back. And speaking of ghost collections, why don't you give me all the ghosts you captured so far? All right, keep on catching those ghosts. Oh, and be sure to come back to the lab. I've set up the gallery so that you can view the ghosts that you've captured. Hmm? What's with that look, Luigi? Am I forgetting something important? Oh! Oh, that's right. I forgot about saving your friends and family. Completely and totally forgot. Regardless, to find ghosts and your friends, you'll need to explore this hotel. 
To help you out, I'll give you one of my greatest inventions yet. I call it the virtual boo, for short. Oh, VB for short. Oh, Nintendo. I know Next Level Games has a lot of liberty with these games. Well, they're, they're games that they make themselves. This is very good. I like this a lot. It's a state-of-the-art virtual reality device fitted with a fancy red screen. Really cutting-edge stuff. And red is all the rage, you know. Hmm. Cutting edge. Virtual reality. The red screen. Oh, you're hitting all the pressure points on this device, aren't you? Just wait until I finish the marketing materials on this. It'll fly off the shelves. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, I love this. Oh, I'm embellishing in this. I love this writing so far. You can use the VB to communicate with me at any time. Hey, maybe we can test out the communication system later. Press plus to look at the VB. It'll display your current objective for you, too. It's quite useful. Oh, and I have one more thing to give you. What is that? The very first thing you need to do is install this elevator tracker inside the elevator for me, okay? As for what it is, I'll tell you later. Go on and get it installed. Head for the elevator, I'm counting on you, Luigi. Alright, you crazy old man. Alright. Guess we'll get started. There we go. I miss that. Just poofing the spiders out of existence with the flashlight. That was always fun in Dark Moon. I forget if you can do that in the first game. I need to replay Luigi's Mansion 1. Maybe that'll be next year. There's no real feasible way for me personally to... Replay Dark Moon and capture it or anything. I'd like to one day if anyone ever figures out how to play or hook up 3DS into HDMI or something, because I'm aware that there were 3DS modded 3DSs. Like you could send in your 3DS and they would mod it so that it would be able to have an HDMI out connection. But I believe they got shut down or something. Or they went under financially, and now there's no real way to currently get a 3DS that you can get HDMI out of or anything. Unless, like, you do it personally yourself, which is a very, very sketch operation from what I know. And buying one that was previously bonded is like in the thousands, which is not an investment I'm willing to take. Hello Luigi, it seems the installation was a success. Now then, as to what the device actually does. Well, it extracts map, it extracts map data about the floors from the elevator. Then it takes all the data it displays, well, all the data and displays it on the monitor. Isn't that great? Hey, why don't you take those elevator buttons you collected and insert them into the panel? <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh yeah. Here we go. It's alive. The buttons are alive. Okay, so that was the first floor. And the fifth floor. Now you're able to view the map of a new floor. There's another surprise, Luigi. That device links with the virtual boo. The map data is automatically sent to the virtual boo, so you can view the map data anywhere, at any time. If you open the map from the virtual boy menu, you can check out an even more detailed map. Don't go forgetting about it. Let me break it down for you, Luigi. The map data is super helpful for exploring new floors. 
While you're out exploring in the hotel, you should hunt down the elevator button. These buttons will help you reach new floors, right for exploration. Oh, and you might find your friends there. I'm gonna break it down to you all nice and tight like that. I'm gonna stop with this weird accent. One more thing before you go, Luigi. We need you to do a quick test of the Virtual Boy's communication system. Open the VB with plus and select the EGAD hotline. I'm counting on you, Luigi. So how do I select the Virtual Boy? I got plungers? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Oh, so, due to the excess amount of buttons, because this is L, and this is Y, does it, Y does a targeting one. Oh, and I can use the gyroscope to aim it. Oh, that's interesting. B still doesn't do anything. I assume that's just an action button if it's needed. Oh, the D-pad does stuff. Luigi, hurry up and start the VB communication test. You should try calling me. Press plus. He's getting annoyed. Mario. I like the idea of Luigi just standing in this elevator. Mario. Just complacently saying Mario. 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 Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, this is a virtual boy. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is Egad, resident genius. Am I coming through loud and clear? Fantastic, it appears that the Virtual Boy's communication system is working properly. This means that you can use this to contact me anytime you need to. If you feel the need to talk to me, just do exactly what you did for the test, Luigi. It may be able to offer some advice, and I may be able to offer some advice in a tough situation. Oh, you can also check out the log using the very same system. Let me know if that's why you're calling and you'll be able to see your progress. Okay, testing my invention is fun, but we should get back to work. And speaking of work, I have a job for you. So you're able to take the elevator to fifth floor now, right? I was actually staying in a room on that floor. There's a briefcase in my room. Could you fetch it for me, Luigi? My room number is... Oh, blast. What was it? Eh, you've got a map. You'll figure it out. Good luck, Luigi. Try to come back alive. Yeah, sure. I'll try. Mario, 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 Mario. Luigi's going insane. Oh, the Virtual Boo is the replacement for the Game Boy and the DS in the previous games. Ah, Luigi, I just, I just remembered something important I neglected to mention. That Poltergeist G00 of yours has a new feature I'd like to call suc uh, Suction Shot. Ooh, let me say that ten times fast. Suction Shot. Suction Shot. Ooh, I don't like that. It'll work as a weapon for you on your adventures. Okay, yeah, it's the it's the plunger, I get it. Okay, Luigi sound it sounded like Luigi had the, I know he said goodbye, but it sounded like he said go die. So this 
Too much. Man, I can really destroy stuff in this game, huh? This is for the shit service in this hotel. Luigi's gonna destroy this hotel. Inside and out. I'm gonna go down this way, because that place looks spooky. Someone's gonna be pissed I took all the croissants in that vending machine. The fuck's going on in here? They're playing with the toilet paper. That isn't how you use two ply, guys. Okay, the plunge is in a weird position. I think I get to reshoot that again. There we go. Can grab onto the vending machine? Can I break it? Holy shit. Well then. Alright, let's go introduce ourselves to nobody. Where'd they go? Okay. Let's open this up. Ah, oh, there's a ghost. Hey, 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 stop moving. Settle down. Well, that gave me quite a bit of money. Like, look at- seriously, I'm sucking up so much of this random clutter. All these Windex bottles and what have you. Uh, those towels are kind of glitched in the door there. The heck is this? Oh, it's a gem. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got a gem out of that room. Uh, the phone's ringing. Okay, thanks, ghosts. Wow. Huh? Luigi. Wow. Yeah, do not fall. You will die. And then you'll become a ghost who works for King Boo. Luigi, uh. <laughs> looking down. At this point, I'm pretty sure he pissed his pants. It won't look any different, it's raining out. 
Yeah, yeah, Egad, hold on, he's gonna need some new tidy whities I hear pizzicato strings. Spiders? Oh god, yeah, we got spider room. I knew something was up with the pizzicato strings. It's music that makes you feel itchy. So I'm assuming then that it was just money in here? <laughs> They're back playing with that stuff again. Alright, let's head down that hallway since this doesn't seem to really lead anywhere else. Thanks, Ghost, for taking that out of the way. Okay, so this, I assume, is Egan's room. Nice Beats, head, beat heads phone, beats headphones, dude. Wow, I can speak English today. I guess the pizza I ate just kind of messed up my neck. Okay, that is not what he was looking for. Neither is that. So the heck is this thing that he get needs? I'm starting to wonder if this is even he gets room. Dude, it's just a spider. Rubber ducky. <laughs> oh, he killed the duck with the vacuum. Oh, that's not right. All right, I don't think this is Egad's room. Thank you, rat. Okay, someone had a feast in here. Another rat. Do some cleaning. There was actually a croissant in there. I just said that earlier. Oh god, there's a, that was a good looking ice cream. I'm, now I want ice cream. Okay, can I break this open? Yeah. Who is living in here? It's just food. I'm pretty sure Egad was not living in here. Whoa, walk-in closet.
There we go. I was I was not properly. I, I had forgotten which button it was for the uh, black light. Yes, I know, Egad. Stop pestering me, man. I'm doing some exploring. There's a rat! <laughs> There's a rat in the toilet! <laughs> I don't know whether to be disturbed it was in there or glad it escaped, but then Luigi killed it. By sucking it up. Whoa, okay. That worked! There's some mini golf in here. Rats everywhere. Can I maybe hit this in there? Ooh. Ooh, can I do it? No, get in there. I win nothing? Aw, oh, man! I lose! I win nothing! Good day, sir! That is a good amount of coinage. More devil pop out things. I'm pretty sure this is someone's fetish somewhere. I hate to think that, but the world be what it is. I'm- I'm so disappointed this didn't do, like, even just like a little sparkly effect, like, oh, you did good, just like, nope, you- you did it. We didn't care to think about it. Uh, just like, oh. Oh. Hey, guys. How's it going? Beat the shit out of your friend with your corpse. Well, you don't have a corpse, you just ectoplasm. Yeah, that worked. Alright, whose room? Ooh, this is an unfinished room. Hmm. How's the bathroom? Bathroom's good. There's a bed against the wall. It's a nice wall. I thought something was suspicious. Spirit orbs. Oh, one's missing. Come here. Oh, nice. Luigi's really wrecking the place, huh? And now we got bats. Oh, they're actually hurting me. I can't get out of this. Get off me! Oh, I had to do that. 
Okay, I didn't know I had to do that to get out of this ridiculous bat issue. Jeez. Bats, please. Gad, could you please stop, dude? I'm gonna find your suitcase. Give me some time. Apparently this is the room. That's not yours. No. Spit that out. Ghost logic. Okay. I'll just take all of you guys' savings, that's fine. The heck's going on here? Okay, that was a little bugged actually. Go out here. Oh, he had a balcony suite. It's a nice view of the moon. Whoa! That actually jumped me a little bit. Reverb effect. Okay, what's up, Gad? Hey, Luigi. Sorry, I was busy. Just got back to my desk. Did I miss anything important? What's the status on my briefcase? What? A ghost maid took off with it. That won't do. No, that won't do at all. Don't just stand there. Get after her. Okay. Can I, like, water the flowers or anything? Is that a thing? No? Okay. Well, it, I think it should be. Because there's a flower here. Yep. It is. Oh, I have to flash at them to get them to open up. All right. Jeez, how much money does this guy just have hiding around? Is there something under the bed? Is that money in there? That's money in there, isn't it? I can't really get in there, but I think it is, yeah. The heck is this? Oh, okay. It had money in that potion. <laughs> Egad is using wizardry to make his own fortunes. He's revolting against science. 
and turning to alchemy instead. This isn't the help I wanted. Whoa, three at once! That was cool. Yeah, so far the ghosts haven't given me too many problems. What's in his bathroom? It's got a radio. Whoa, 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 whoa. Luigi doesn't need a trim. Oh, it broke. <laughs> nice. Ah, uh, yes. Slow haunted beats to jam to. Okay, look at his fucking toilet paper. It's dollar bills the whole roll. Egad is doing some alchemy bullshit where he's just making money out of thin air. Look at this. Oh, that is so much money. Even in his damn toilet. No wonder the guy's so greedy. All right, so where'd this maid go off to? There you are. Why are you, like, so interested in having that inside you? It is creepy. Oh, I think I get what I have to do. There we go. Oh, come on. I even put a plunger on her. By the way, Luigi, here's a fun bit of trivia for you every time you go through a door. All your progress up to that point is saved automatically. But it might not be if you move it might not be if you move too quickly from door to door to door to door or so. So get the so you get the idea. I'd say waiting ten seconds should be enough. You know what they say, patience is a virtue. Keep up the good work. Okay, man, if you'd stop interrupting me every ten goddamn seconds. There's none here. Oh, there she is. Hey! Come on! Ah, oh, man. Did you go in the bathroom? Nope. You know, this boss is really kind of weird. So it's a maid. That's a fetish. You got... her devouring something. That's a fetish. You got her... I, I, I don't know, man. You got Luigi, like, throwing a plunger at her? I don't know if that's a fucking fetish. I just find this whole thing, like... I feel like, I feel like Next Level Games is just taking the piss out of a lot of shit. Okay. So what was inside this suitcase that was so important? I can't plunger it. Level three. <laughs> this guy. It seems you've also acquired a new elevator button along with my briefcase. Well done, Luigi. Come on back to the lab. Sure. Well, what's at the end of this hallway, though? So this was the room. What's past here? Ugh. A lot of money, it seems. Yeah, 
Even in the ventilation shaft. Okay, there's nothing there. <clears throat> I feel like there's secrets around, but I haven't noticed any, really. The heck is in here? Oh, lovely. Well, it's pra it's practicing proper health hygiene, I guess. For its ma- oh. You, you don't- you, you don't stick that up your ass like that. You don't do that. I don't- I don't like these ghosts. They're weird. This looks fake. It is fake. Come on. There we go. Oh, this is the elevator shaft. That money's going down the shaft. No. Well, what's out of here? Oh, there's a gem way over there. How the heck am I supposed to get that? Hmm. Luigi, grab onto the rope. <laughs> Just jump and grab on. You'll be fine. Can I do anything over here? Doesn't seem it. Well, let's just go back, I guess. Yeah, because I can't go that way even yet. Luigi, looks like you're able to get to the third floor now. But before you head there, bring my briefcase back to the lab. I need it. All right. As you do, as you command, Sir Science. Yeah, so far this has been great. So today, my Animal Crossing bandana from the My Nintendo Rewards stuff arrived. It's pretty nice. I don't plan on using it. I've never used a bandana. I don't even know how to use one. But uh, it's nice to have it. Welcome back, Luigi. My briefcase, Chop Chop. Sure. Here you go, man. This, this is what I wanted. The time has come to use it in battle. I'm too old to be out catching ghosts by myself. Rather than give up on my ghostly pursuits, I thought I'd create a helper to take my place. Is this the fabled Guiji I've heard so much about? I guess it is. The latest invention from the brilliant mind of Professor E. Gad. I give you... Gooigi. The development process was a real challenge, to say the least. Fortunately, I had a little help from someone to test the prototype. Hmm? 
How's this going to help? No, no, take it easy. Here, Luigi. I'm going to attach this to the Poltergeist G00. Turn around for me, would you? What are you... Oh, it's all slimy. Okay, it's all set up. Luigi, let's practice a bit. Follow me outside. What weird, goopy science is in my backside now, doctor? Move as- m Luigi, move aside. Never mind, you've been captured. This is an evil plot to kill you. You dirty backstabber. I knew you wanted to kill Luigi from the very first game. I've caught you in my trap, Luigi. Oh, don't worry. I'm just kidding. But I am gonna need you to stay locked up. Why, you ask? Because I want you to use Gooigi to try and escape from your cell. You can activate Gooigi with R down. Well, pushing in, I guess pushing in the R button. To recall him to his tank, push the R button twice. Yep, it is pushing it down. Ta-da! Behold, this is your very own personal assistant, Gooigi. Gooigi can slip through tight spaces like great events. His body is incredibly soft and malleable. It's really quite amazing. Go on. See for yourself. Is Luigi okay? He's... It's like he's in a coma. Oh, the, oh, the slime noise it makes is visceral. I hate it. <laughs> oh, that gave me goosebumps. That was gross. Oh, I did not like that. There you go. He moves in basically the same way. I don't know how I feel about this fucking thing. <laughs> so controlling him shouldn't take much getting used to. Oh, I'm fucking crying for that. That set that that didn't I didn't like that. That was gross. Oh, that reminds me. Pressing R once Guiji is active will let you switch between him and yourself. Remember that. Oh, fuck this character. Holy shit. Oh, he even- he, okay, yeah, he makes little drip noises while he runs. Oh. Guiji isn't even remotely waterproof, Luigi. If he gets all wet, he'll melt and disappear. Be careful with him around anything wet. Oh, I hate that. What? So- did they commission, like, the same people they got for Breath of the Wild or something to do some sort of slime effect noise next to a microphone? Because if so, claps off to them. Holy shit, that is a gross noise, and it is perfect for this character. <laughs> Luigi does a thumbs up. Well done, Luigi. I feel like I can let you run loose with Luigi. Just don't fuck him. Alright, we're done with your training, at least for now. Let's go back to the lab. Nice work, Luigi. Very impressive, I must say. That reminds me of something I wanted to tell you. I've been running the sensors in the lab and see that they've detected the presence of a mysterious... Uh. I'm, I'm, I'm like reading it, but I'm creating my own dialogue of, my, of, of what I'm seeing there. I've been running the sensors in the lab, and they've detected the presence of a mysterious building. There we go. That is correct. In fact, the ominous-looking tower is very close to this ho very hotel. Luigi, I know you really want to find all your missing friends, but if you want a break from that, you could go, over he you could go and head over to that tower. I, I'd really like that. It's probably crawling with ghosts that you can go catch. Go and test your skills there, for science. For science, he says. I've made arrangements so that you can access the tower from the lab. Just select Scare Scraper and Multiplayer. Have fun. Oh wait, I just remembered something else. You can check out Screen Park if you're feeling a bit lonely and want to have some fun. Up to eight, ple up to eight people can play, I don't care about that. 
I don't care about multiplayer. Oh, right. You can get to a new floor now. Head to the elevator and take it to thir the third floor. Okay. Third floor, here we go. Still enjoying this new set of headset pads for my mic. It's very nice. Just take it off for a second. And put it back on just to see if my ears are alright. And they're alright so far. the mic back in its proper position. Alright, so this looks like some sort of shopping district area of the hotel. Needs a key. I think this will probably be the last floor I do today. One second, I gotta itch I lifted up my headset, and that introduced an itch to my ear. Alright. So what do we got here? The bathroom's closed. Only the- only the female one, though, for some reason. Weird. Can I get in there? Or is- or is this a joke about Luigi just can't go in there because he's a guy? I have a feeling I can access it through that vent, but let me check in here first. This is a welfare call. Checking up on you, you've been in there for too long! I need to get the manager. He turned into a key. Okay, let's go get that. Oh, I guess I can send Guiji in there. Is this... Yeah, this is something he can go into. Hmm. So... That's not gonna help at all. That's not gonna help at all. That's not going to help at all. Is there anything I can do in here, even? Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing much, I, much of anything I can do in here, except for the fact someone clogged the toilet pretty bad. No wonder the women's room is closed. I'm just trying to see if... Is there anything I can do in here with this guy? In theory, I could have him go down the drain, but the water would kill him. Yeah, I don't know. That was happenstance. <laughs> I love 
how it hurt Luigi right away. Okay, let's try this. This was pure happenstance of me thinking there's something more to this. And I was right. There's a lot of spiders down here. There we go. Now let's get the gem. He was gifted with death. Alright, so that's that little puzzle area done. Oh boy, we got a Renikoff ghost. He's got the button on his keychain. This is Officer Muffins, reporting for duty. We're going in to get a better visual. We have found the perpetrator. Yeah, looks like they uh, gave the go the boss ghost at least uh, some sort of interesting characterization. Can't get into the barber shop. Let's go up the escalator. Luigi, did you see that? That security guard had an elevator button. I thought that was the flashlight for a second there, for that little beep that it made. It looks like he went into that security office. Follow him. In a second. I need to get my mocha cappuccino out of this uh, coffee barista bar. I, I, I think those are coffee words. I've never drank coffee, so I think that is the coffee. Got the key. One coin. One dollar. One gold bar. One rat. Oh, the poor rat. Uh, multiple rats. Cool. And a gem. I did it. <laughs> he did it. He counted to whatever the amount of all that added up to. Oh. <laughs> hmm. oh. Oh. Huh? Oh. Oh. 
It's the wrong key. Officer Muffins, reporting for duty. I like the I like the sounds in the background for the music the wah, 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 wah. that that is so stereotypically good for this. Okay, so where am I supposed to go then? Okay, yeah. So the game the game kind of helps me a bit when I don't immediately catch up to what it wants. Because, yeah, I, I did not think I could get Gooigi in here. Oh, I see. The keys all have different shaped grips on them for what they can be used for. So we need to find one with a club on it for this one. So this is the gift shop. I like the King Boo slippers. Yeah, I think it's going to be over here. Let's see. Yeah, it should match up. Now we got a heart key. He's made a slime, dude. He's not going to give a shit. Uh, he should have gave a shit for that. Kick their ass. Break the shop. They better have some damn good insurance for walloping ghosts. Ooh! That is some good combat. I like this. It is very satisfying when you get it right. There's a gem in there. I'm gonna need to use this to break in there. Now now we're just straight stealing from a mall. Yep, there we go. Actually, yeah, I just realized this level is set up like a mall. This is most certainly a shopping mall. This is... I just realized that. <laughs> Guiji has the key just inside of him. That's so weird. Okay, so this has hearts associated with it. Let's see how this plays out. There's the club key. So what? Oh, where'd it go? Oh, there's a secret area. Oh, look at all that. Look at all that moolah. That's a... Tiny ghost. It's a lot of tiny ghosts. Take the money. Get the money. Guiji, do not give in. Keep going for the money. They're actually... Well, yeah, those guys were really easy to just get rid of.
What are you doing? <laughs> what was that? Alright, where is it? There you are. Alright, I think we've had enough fun in here. Oh, that slime noise is still so grody. Alright, finally we can do this one. Unless these, these spirit orbs don't want me to? Guys, come on. Why well, gotta make an extra little piece about it? Come on. Just let me do my thing. It's a shield. Mmm, can I... Do I have to suck off the glasses first? Yep. has to get back in here for me to catch him. Nope. Nope. We're getting the fuck out of here. golden ghost in there. I didn't expect that. Come on, stop eating all the donuts. I need some for the morning. Ooh, this one does not want to get caught. He does not want to get caught. Got him. There we go. Yeah, he was a little more determined than the previous one. Now for that strawberry shortcake and the donuts. Seriously, though. Screw this. <sighs> I was trying to hit it with the plunger because I could see it was just moving by the smallest millimeter of me doing that, but... At a point, it just stopped moving. Like, it kept tilting like it was moving, but it wasn't actually moving. So I was just like, eh, screw it. The game doesn't want me to have fun. Oh, cool. The escalator's back up and running. That's normal.
Let's use Luigi this time. Okay, so how do I get in here? Oh. Cool. Oh, I'm going to need both of us. Yeah, that was pretty good as a puzzle. There's just flying scissors. Okay. So where do I even input this? I don't see a register in here. Spin the chair. You spin me right around, baby, right around like a record. I think I've already made that joke recently. see anywhere for me to input this. There's a lot of spiders. Is there something... Oh! I get it. I was like, there's something missing here. There's the key. That's what we need to get into Mr. Muffin's office. I don't know why I'm calling him Muffins. I just am. Oh, we got one of the big red ones from Dark Moon. You know, Luigi would be the guy who's standing on the escalator when it breaks. He just would be, knowing his luck. And now the escalator's going down. And it's getting faster. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Okay, let me see if these guys work as they did in Dark Moon, because it doesn't exactly look the same. They look bigger. Well, you still have to grab the tail. Okay, he's right there. Not too bad. That could have gone a lot worse. That was a convenient timing for Egad. He was quite an aggressive one, wasn't he? I'm surprised you were able to catch him. He'll, he'll be a big help to my research, though. Keep up the good work, okay? Sure. All right, now let's give the Renica up a welcome wagon. Paul Blart, ghost cop. This is Officer Muffins making evasive maneuvers.
He's got a gun! Okay, I gotta figure out what to do here. I'm taking your toy. It's mine now. I'm also taking your donuts. So can Guiji? I, I assume Guiji can get in there. Oh, jeez, he can flub me with this fat. Maybe if I steal his sunglasses. Yep. Stunned him. All right, that did some damage. Where are you this time? There you are. Nice play glasses. You're not Groucho Marx. Take those off. Oh. Come on, man. Ooh, this is gonna suck for you, sucker. One more time. Bring it on! Bring it on! You think you're a superstar with those glasses? I'm about to send you for the death sentence. Nice. The second floor. Luigi's a little out of it. Oh no, he's awake again. <laughs> so, my question now is, since they seem to share a conscience of... Like, like when Gooigi's disabled, Luigi's active, and when Gooigi's active, Luigi's disabled. So my next question is, how are they mentally linked like that? I know it's a Mario game and it doesn't really matter, but it's just like... What kind of essence is Guiji? Is he just Jello? Or is he like... Pure... Is he like Luigi's essence thrown into a gelatin... Form? Oh, I, I, I actually guess that is pretty much it, yeah. Never mind. Well, let's go back down to the basement. Because there's a few things I never got down there and then I think we're gonna call it for today and I hope to God that this video is not corrupt if you're seeing this now then everything went fine and I did not waste two hours on more gameplay that did not survive the number two Luigi, the elevator can take you directly to lobby floor two. You might as well head that way and check it out, I say. Nah, I'm gonna go back to the basement. This game does have a fluid flow though. It's kind of, it is, it is like Uncharted in that way where it just keeps the game progressing. But unlike Uncharted where you can kind of where you have to keep moving forward. This one, you can go back and explore other areas and such. So, it, it's it's actually got a consistent 
flow, which is still nice. I like that in games sometimes. Not every game, but some games I like it. It makes sense to Luigi's Mansion for me. There's the gem. Is there anything else down here aside from money? Still not entirely sure what you use the money for. Nintendo also put out a bunch of uh, new stuff on the My Nintendo site, speaking of the headband from earlier, uh, the bandana from earlier. And I, I, I really wanted the Mario 35th anniversary posters that they put up, which were 800 silver coins. I had about 150 or so. Because I'd been getting all the other stuff like the Xenoblade stickers and the key ring the bandana so I didn't have anything left so I have never done any of the Nintendo app games or anything really I did do a little bit to get the bandana I had installed Animal Crossing Pocket Camp to get the bandana and just get a few extra coins for that so I had to reinstall Animal Crossing Pocket Camp today and I had to install Mario Run today and link my account with it just so I could get the preliminary 100 coins out of that. And then I had to install and play Fire Emblem Heroes. And I gotta say, I'm not impressed with any of these games. Mario Run is, you can really only play it if you pay for things in it, which is shitty to me. Mm, Animal Crossing seems the least shitty, but at the same time I can still see people getting addicted and spending tons of money in it. And the Fire Emblem game, while it appears fun, because there's a lot of action going on in the animation and such when you're playing the game, it's a whole lot of nothing. I'm surprised it's so big as it is and has a lot of people who are, like, diehard fans for it or whatever, and I get that's just the Fire Emblem fandom in general, I guess. But, because I've played two Fire Emblem games. I've played Shadows of Valencia and... I forget the other one, it was... Birthright, I wanna say? I liked Shadows of Valencia a lot, that was my favorite of the two. But this game, fi Heroes, from my basic playing of like 30 minutes on this thing to get a couple hundred coins. I only beat the prologue of it, so I, I've only done the tutorial stuff, basically. But, while I played it, you just click and drag. You just- all you do is click and drag the character to the enemy character. You fight and you win. That's it. There is no difficulty, at least in the beginning. But to me, seeing the fundamentals of the game where all you do is click and drag is like, oh, so this is the whole game. You just click and drag your character to go to different points and you win, if your characters are good enough, I assume. Riveting gameplay. And I, I'll give it a pass on the fact that it's an app game. It's supposed to be simple, it's supposed to be quick, and it's supposed to be cheap for people to get hooked on it and such. That's, that's the whole point, that's how they make their money. But to me it was more just reaffirming what I thought about these Nintendo app games of Pocket Camp being a big time sink, Fire Emblem is not interesting to me, and I can see why people are addicted to it for its cheap gameplay and having well-rendered drawings of these anime characters that these people make into their... I don't know, like, husbandos and waifus and whatever and such. 
And then you have Mario Run, which I really don't understand why some people like it, because you really do just have to pay through the whole game to win and to play it, I think. Regardless, I, I had to basically, like, acknowledge Nintendo's app games, try them out so that I could get these posters. And I did get the posters. That was the whole reason I even put up with any of this, was that I just really wanted those posters. And I got them. And I'm super happy about that. And unless they pull something like that again, I won't have to play those games again. <laughs> now, speaking of games to play, right now is this, and the companion game, because I'm trying to do a three-game thing right now. I'm trying to do something like I did at the beginning of the year. That was what I was doing for a while. And right now, it's Ghost of Tsushima still. It's this that is replacing Mario Galaxy. And... Replacing Uncharted is going to be Concrete Genie, which is probably going to be the thing I play after this. If you're watching this and then you see the next video, that would probably be the video after this. And I got Concrete Genie as well as this game for Christmas last year. I just never, I, I actually unwrapped them today. Like, like, I took the cellophane off them and everything. I was like, oh, I forgot. I haven't played these yet. So. Two games that I am looking forward to playing through. Anyway. I think that's going to be it for me. So thanks for watching. Thanks for coming out and... Yeah, we're starting this for the month of October. That's that's what I'm kind of doing, is Ghost of Tsushima is just going to be like the main series that I'm doing up until it finishes for however long it lasts. Then this is going to be... I'm going to say Luigi's Mansion is the main side, the second main series that is probably going to go on for a fair while knowing how long it is. And go, uh, Concrete Genie is going to be the shorter game that I play a couple times and then we'll probably wrap up in like three or four parts or something like that. Regardless, have a good night.